Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make a check valve into your garden hose. So I bought this off Amazon. I have a link in the description below. Uh, I couldn't find a check valve anywhere. So this is a three quarter inch check valve. Uh, garden hoses come in either, I think, five eighths or three quarter inch. I think this happens to be five eighths. It's pretty hard to slide it on there, but I did get it on there. It comes with two hose clamps, so I just hose clamped it on. And let's test it out. I was blowing, so no air can go in this way. But air can go in this way. Uh, so how to test this? Let's see, I'll put water in here, and it shouldn't come out here, right? It didn't come out. And now you see it come out this way. And if I do it vice versa, it should be able to flow as much as it. Yep. See, it flows that way. Anyway, the real test is going to be the be this transfer pump. I bought this transfer pump as a replacement. For some reason, this one does not keep water primed in it. So every time, it seems like I have to prime it uh, when I want to start it. So I wanted to make it, because the water seems to just run out. My old pump used to keep the water in there and I could just turn it on, turn it off, and it would just, it would always just work. But this one, I have to, I have to pour water in to get it started. So I figured if I added a check valve, then I wouldn't need to do that anymore. This is the actual check valve that you get on Amazon. And then on my other hand, I just have a regular garden hose. And you, what you're gonna wanna do is actually cut your garden hose in half, um, or just cut it in a, seg in a certain section. And then you're gonna put the check valve in between. And it has like a barbed uh, fitting that you can press in there. It was a really tight, um, so I think it depends on what hose diameter you have. I think hoses, yeah, like I mentioned, come in two standard diameters. They have the smaller one. I think if I had the bigger three quarter inch one, it would have fit in better, but this worked too. I just had to really work it on there and then tighten it with the hose clamp. And then I tried it out with the transfer pump and it worked perfectly. It's even better than my original pump because that would even take a few seconds because some of the water would drain out so I'd have to fill it back up. So yeah, this one, as soon as I turn it on, I have an app to turn on my uh, smart outlet to turn on the pump. And uh, yeah, it just works instantly. So it works a lot better. I'm really happy with it. Anyway, hopefully this helps some of you guys. Let me know what you guys are using a garden hose check valve for. I'm surprised they don't really just make this commercially uh, available. It took a while to find it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Godspeed.